Germany has begun deploying more soldiers to Lithuania as part of NATO's move to boost defense of its eastern borders. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has rattled nerves throughout the formerly occupied Baltic states. And Lithuania, which is a NATO member, shares a 270-kilometer border with Russia and fears Russian aggression if the war spreads beyond Ukraine. DW's Kilian Baya has more. Rolling off the boat into NATO's most vulnerable region, Staff Sergeant Max, whose last name we've been asked not to give, is providing security for the Bundeswehr's new forward command element in Lithuania. It's the headquarters of a German combat brigade with up to 2,500 soldiers. These soldiers that Berlin is deploying to Lithuania to bolster NATO's eastern flank are a direct reaction to Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. Max is a deputy squad leader on this armored personnel carrier, part of one of Germany's armored infantry brigades. I think it's important because we want to protect what we have, protect our country. And now that I've been in the army for some time, I also want to fight with my brothers in arms and keep my men safe. The soldiers are also here for Lithuania as collective defense, which is how NATO calls it. Vilnius, along with the other Baltic states, had been calling for more troops. And in June, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz granted their request. An additional combat brigade on top of the 1,600 soldiers that are already there. But there's a catch. Out of the convoy traveling down this highway, only the command element, comprised of around 50 soldiers, will be stationed here permanently. The bulk of the troops will remain in Germany on high readiness and can deploy quickly on short notice. Kaunas, Lithuania's second largest city, is only a half an hour's drive from the base where German troops are stationed. People here are largely happy that more soldiers are coming. It's excellent. Yeah. Oh, it's security. I feel safer, to be honest, uh, to know that German uh, army came to Lithuania. The most important thing is that Russia does not even think about taking any aggressive steps towards NATO or Lithuania. To ensure that, Max and his men are armed with some of the most modern equipment in the German military. They say they are well trained and ready to go to war if they must. I think it's good that we're here. I think it's good that there's a show of force along NATO's border. And you also see the reaction from the locals. It feels good. It's the job I signed up to do, and that's why I'm happy to be here. After accompanying their brigade's combat headquarters to Lithuania, Max and his comrades will go back home, but not for long. In October, they will return for their combat exercises with the Lithuanian military.